Praise be to Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Dear brothers and sisters in the great holy patriarch Saint Joseph. Sleep is a necessary, inevitable element in the part of human life. We all know that we need to sleep every day, every night. So it's something considered as normal and it's necessary for a health, healthy uh, person or for the health of the uh, physical part of the human body it is necessary that person sleeps if a person doesn't sleep he can acquire many sickness many diseases many problem that's why generally uh, we all wish people in the morning we wish them in the night for a good rest for a good sleep and we even wish for good dreams and sweet dreams actually we consider it something normal really it is normal but we wish them the dreams which can be from heaven which can console them which can soothe them which can make their mind when at rest make happy because there are possibilities as dream can disturb us devil can appear in the dream devil can disturb our sleep uh, even because of many other afflictions problems difficulties in the life people lose sleep or some other health reasons because of the not the lack of proper functioning of our internal organisms on our body we lose sleep uh, the chemical reactions what takes inside our brain can also end up in losing sleep so there are n number of factors but all the medical field or in the med medical field every doctors everybody says and everybody knows sleep is an inevitable part of the human system or a human life needs rest every night and some say between 6 to 8 hours now let's go to the spiritual realm of the sleep we see in the old testament when adam god created the first man adam he put adam into a deep sleep from the sleep he took uh, removed his uh, bone the rib bone was removed from him from the side and god created eve so eve was created from and through adam by god so it was done in a sleep or uh, allowing adam to uh, rest and sleep now we see in the new testament jesus christ is known as the new adam in the in the spiritual supernatural sense and he died on the cross and that was like a complete sleep and from his side when the the lance was pierced through his heart was born the holy roman catholic and apostolic church in the spiritual sense as a mystical spouse of christ now let's see come to uh, the gospel where jesus we see jesus sleeping in the gospel and that too on a boat on a simple boat jesus christ is sleeping and with the apostles we see in the gospel of saint mark chapter 4 verses 35 onwards and the 38 verse we can specifically see where apostles christ uh, lord we are master we are perishing we are dying you are I'm, are you not preoccupied are you not caring us because they uh, after preaching with our lord only asked them well, let's go to the other side of the river uh, other side of the sea and they took the boat they start um, going it was not not one just one there were other boats also but interesting fact is that even jesus christ who is omnipotent god he doesn't need to sleep because he is pure and holy but he wills that human system and human body take rest and he was taking rest and in the rest 
the affliction, the anxiety, the problem, the disaster, some great danger, the pain, the suffering, this all this can be termed spiritually the part of the apostles. And they cry, Master, we are perishing. Are you do you want to you want to leave us to perish? And they were crying and they don't know what to do. And our Lord Jesus Christ was sleeping calmly. And imagine a tempest and the boat boats going left and right and get tossed up in the waves and but our Lord sleeping in the full tranquility. From where did our Lord take took this lesson? For definitely we can say he doesn't need anybody's lesson, but he was trained by his father, by his tutor and master, Saint Joseph, who was very tranquil even in the midst of all the afflictions, all the problems. And we see Jesus tranquil in the midst of all the problems, in the midst of all afflictions, tempests. It's very easy to say, but when we go through, we also struggle and we cry to the Lord, but we need to cry to the Lord. And then suddenly our Lord appears calms down. He just gives one command to be calm and just by his words. And then they wonder, who is he? Because even the, the sea and the, the nature obeys him. Now let's come to Saint Joseph, another man of great sleep. So we have familiar two Josephs. Both are famous for sleep and dreams. We have the Joseph of the old, the governor of Pharaoh of Egypt, the great Joseph, who was betrayed and sold by his own brothers and who came to their rescue and help at the time of their afflictions, problems, difficulties, without food, when they were almost going to die, the same Joseph came to their help. Now we see the new Joseph in the New Testament given by our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the representative God, the Father. So how much we can be sure he is our spiritual father and how much he is preoccupied with his children who are suffering, afflicted with the problems, with the sickness, with all kinds of problems. And we see Saint Joseph, many times we pray, he is tranquilly sleeping as we see in the Gospel. And in the gospel, the angel appears and gives a message and immediately he rises up, obeys because he knows in the sleep he gets the message from God. There is a good lesson to take. So it's not only really when he is active, he's when he is sleeping, he is in the hands of God, he is with the thoughts of God, he is in the contemplation of God, he is really with the true, holy, sweet dreams of God and heaven and higher things and angels. That's why many times when we wish people, we say, may angels protect and guard you and give holy dreams. Because uh, that's what the best. Many times, many people, they may not have dreams. Some have terrible dreams. Some, But we see in the life of jo St. Joseph, even the sleep was a glory. Even this sleep was an act of love, an act of surrender completely to God. And this is a lesson we need to take from his life. Even in the sleep, in the tranquility of the sleep, in the midst of afflictions and problems. We don't see St. Joseph as a person without any problem. Because he, 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 he was not, uh, he doesn't need to suffer so much. We need to suffer because we had committed sins. But he know. But still in the afflictions, uncertainty, go there, then to go to Egypt, then come back, then protect. Imagine he could have asked any number of questions, but just because his mind was so alert to the divine revelations, to divine interventions, to the, uh, um, the message of the angel. So even at sleep, he is thinking and contemplating about God. His dreams are always with angels and heavens and mysticism. Is an extraordinary man. Extraordinary. This is not normal. No? So we see in the life of St. Joseph. But in all this, he was really in the afflictions, in the anxiety, in the suffering, difficulty. So he's a perfect example for all of us 
all the human kind all of us pass through anxieties afflictions sickness sadness sorrows physical mental suffering accusations from others then all the um, whatever possible uh, physical mental and um, spiritual suffering we can imagine and saint joseph is ready to accept that but in the midst of all this remain calm tranquil like jesus in the boat like saint joseph in the midst of all this perplexity confusion he sleeps and he gets a message so that's called a patience uh, under the afflictions and also he is a great comforter under all affliction and anxieties so we need to have great recourse to him to pray to him in the midst of all the problems now we see from the words of saint francis de sales the great doctor of the church and the bishop the gentleman saint saint francis de sales he speaks that he says that the angels envy man for their their capacity to suffer and to do penance and to do reparation imagine angels envy its envy is not in the negative sense it's in the positive sense it's called holy envy the one of the envy of angels is that man can suffer like jesus christ suffered man can do reparation man can do penance angels cannot that's why they have only one test and one sin for all but we human beings have a chance again and again in each in in a, in a liturgical year especially in the lent in the preparation of advent we have a chance to renew us um recover everything we have lost to do penance to ask forgiveness to do reparation and saint francis de sales says that this is something beyond angelic nature and that's why angels have holy envy for this is that not amazing so when we get afflicted when we are having temptations problems difficulties sickness and we see everything a disaster after disaster i have uh, heard from people who ask when they say about their prayer request many times our life is like a disaster one after another why god is doing this to us why god is doing this to me why saint joseph is not helping me why it's like that it's a normal human cry but we never consider that that is a chance for us to unite our suffering to with our lord jesus christ that's why saint faustina the the apostle of divine mercy and even blessed dina belanger they both lived around in the same time but in different countries and in their private revelations especially in saint faustina we see she speaks that the angels envy human being for two reasons one the man can receive the eucharist in the form of a bread on their tongue in their physical carnal body which is subjected to sin and all the problems second they can take suffer and unite their physical mental spiritual suffering that with the suffering of jesus christ this the angels cannot do so they can unite their sufferings and the third and the fourth part they didn't explain which was already before explained by saint francis de sales to do reparation and to do penance that's completely amazing so the afflictions the problems the difficulties are really an occasion for us to become more than angels to unite it with that of the christ to suffer like with that of the christ unite it so that we may become like angels by humbling ourselves accepting everything there is a famous uh, writing of saint francis de sales which is uh, saint alphonsus maria ligori he says about um, he speaks uh, in the book of uh, uniformity or conformity to the will of god and he says that imagine a person he has to suffer all kinds of atrocities in his life everybody against him speaking ill against him 
physical, mental and spiritual tortures from his own people, from his own um, friends or enemies, suffering, sickness, uh, mental afflictions, everything. And some even caused by devil. Some maybe to do reparation for his his uh, people of his family of, or his forefathers, who was those who are in purgatory, he need to suffer and offer the sufferings and prayers for them. Whatever the sufferings, whatever the reason may be, Saint Francis, uh, Saint Alphonsus Maria Ligari says, if you accept it completely and surrender that all this happened to you, and which even people might mock at you because of that, because you are praying, your sufferings are increasing, your problems are increasing. And St. Alphonse is going to say, if you accept it completely and fully, and that is from the hands of the hands of God, St. Alphonse Ligari says, I assure you, you will die a saint, definitely. That's extraordinary. Simply accept everything what comes in our lives. That's why St. John Chrysostom says that, when Christ suffered for you, you are indebted for, to Christ. But when you suffer and accept all the suffering and unite it with the suffering of Christ and offer back to him, Christ becomes indebted to you only through suffering and afflictions and problems. There is no other way heaven or Jesus or God can be uh, um, indebted to you as a person other than suffering afflictions, pain, anxieties, difficulties, sickness, whatever. So we have this role model, our great Saint Joseph, the great brave knight and king. He was in everything tranquil. That's why we see him sleeping and that wonderful image we have. He sleeps and imagine with the, with the, the and Jesus for sure imitated him in the sleeping we see in the boat and we offer his prayer even in the sleep he is ready to attend his people his afflicted children his suffering children and he's ready to hear and protect and even console and comfort all the afflicted but remember it's more it gives more greater glory to God like when we suffer like Saint Joseph accept surrender and offer it but everything we may do through saint joseph let's ask this great to saint joseph so that we may utilize all the problems in our lives and sufferings and offer it as a great incense to god and so that we may do reparation to our sins for other sins and we may become completely united with the will of god and become holy and saint as saint alphonse Ligori says may jesus mary and joseph bless you all